So speaking of the New Zealand scene or, or people with a loose affiliation to New Zealand, Robert Whittaker, great fighter, UFC fighter, um, born in New Zealand, I think, and uh, represents New Zealand down Australia, represents it on his chest, um, as well as in his words and his actions. So yeah, like, um, why do people, like, why is he not a bigger deal than, than he is? Like, you know, the guy's incredibly marketable, talented, young, he's like, got all the appeal, but he doesn't seem to be getting any of the push. Where's the respect? That's right. Yeah. Put some respect on his name, that's right. Put some respect <laughs> on his name. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, oh he, he's just quiet, I think. Yeah, yeah, and he's know, re- recently it, married but... and stuff, I think, earlier this year or maybe last year, so, you know, potentially he's more into the private life at the moment. Yeah, he's a nice dude, karate, karate background, I think, you know, all that respect, but, I mean, he just took out Uriah Hall and Rafael Natal. Yeah, yep. Yeah, he and, uh no one's talking about he's number fucking six ranked middleweight i feel like he's a quiet achiever but i've been following his career the whole time you know and it, it's, it still feels like it's crept up on me yeah Maybe i, I think because you only hear from him fight time that's right he doesn't, he's not in the news in between yeah he's not out there like on twitter calling people he, out he's not out there you know like posting nudes no. yeah Nudes. Well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, he yeah, like like you say, he is not that guy who's out there grabbing attention, um, and you know, getting the followers, and and you know, he's doing the necessary marketing only, and um, I guess that's, it, you know, he's doing great in the fight game. It might be part of a secret, you know, he's he's only doing what he has to do, so that's why he's so good at what he does. Yeah, potentially he could uh, headline the next Australian card, right? I yeah, mean, if yeah. he got someone like Vitor or Gay Guard, yep. that could be a headline. Yeah, well, who, you know, potentially what would a good fight for him be? Well, there was talk of the Bisbing fight before Bisbing went and got himself a title. <laughs> Inconsiderate. <laughs> okay. Was he supposed to get Anderson as well once upon a time? Uh, I think I haven't heard that one. Man, that, that'd, that'd be interesting. Fire. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see him fight Anson. Yeah, Leoto's on. Is he on I, two years? I think so. Anderson doesn't want that fight. Anderson won't take that fight. That, nah. There's no pay per view dollars on that fight for him. I don't even know if Vito will take that. Maybe. I reckon Vito no, those, would get like, smoked pretty early. Big money fights now. Yeah. Those guys are on their vets min. That's what they want, that vets minimum. What about Gay Guard then? I'd love Gay to see that fight. I, I could fully see Gay Guard versus Whitaker. That would be a huge fight. I'll take you through the rankings here. We've got uh, champion Michael Bisping. We've got number one, Luke Rockhold. Two, Chris Weidman. Number three, Jacare Souza. Vitor Balfour, Anderson Silva. Number six is Robert Whitaker. Seven, Gagard Rousasi. Eight, Machida. Nine, Uriah Hall. Ten, Derek Brunson. So, Gagard, has to be. Derek Brunson. It's got to be Gagard. Gagard. That would be a he great fight. Damage. But there's no marketing. Fight. There's no marketing in that fight either. No, none of them are going to talk. Yeah, neither of those guys will market. You know, like there'll be some some <clears throat> mumbling on the podium at the press conference and stuff, and a face off. But those guys are not going to sell the fight. Like for a main event, it, it's something the UFC would have to do a lot of production around themselves. See, yeah, and how do you, what what do you do with a fight like that? He deserves more, but he's just a good guy. Yeah, that's it. You know, they it's it's tough. Like, cause you know they can they could set the table for him, but you know potentially he he just isn't gonna isn't gonna do what they need him to to get the money back. No, no. Those fighters, they eventually get there. It just takes them a few more fights. 
Is he um, the, uh, the, the noisy fighters? You lived in Aussie for a long time. Was he? He's got a following over there. Well, I wouldn't say. Well, it, cuts that no. We'll already know him, right? But if if you're asking about casuals, no, they don't know who he is. You know. Yeah. But yeah, all, all the bros and and all the dudes that know what they're talking about know who he is, and we all follow him because yeah, yeah. he's fucking one of us. But no, he's not a household name, not yeah. not an Aussie either. Wow. So yeah, I guess I guess we kind of answered that discussion. You know, he um, you know, he's not a household name potentially because he he isn't putting himself out there to be a household name. Power to him though. Great fighter. I'm a huge fan of his. Fuck yeah, no, he's mean, and uh, I just want I just want the best for him, you know. Yeah. And if that means he puts out a few stupid tweets Dude. and gets him paid, you're like, why not? Yeah. Hey, uh, Robert Whitaker, if you're out there, we'll run your social media for cheap ass, bro. <laughs> we'll call out those things. Yeah, bro, we will call out everyone for you. You'll have so many fights bro, coming out your ears. Give Bisbee some shit, man. He'll <laughs> take the bait, bro. Yeah.